Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin news. And specifically, we're going to look at U.S. regulators. They can't shut down Bitcoin. Wow, that's a huge statement. And that statement comes from the CEO of a company called Grayscale. You might have heard of them because they're actually really a, a, a huge organization in the, the cryptocurrency industry. If you haven't heard about them, I'm going to give you a little bit of info about them. But we're going to dig into this. This is great news today. So should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? Our channel, and I'm building a website, is all about ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. In fact, I've spent the last uh, year and a half building a cryptocurrency algorithm that's doing fantastic. It's absolutely killing it. And I'm going to be sharing that algorithm with my audience in the near future. So keep tuning in to my videos and I will keep you updated as we get closer and closer to releasing this and to getting other people, allowing you and, and your friends and relatives to be able to take advantage of the algorithm. Just to give you an idea how well it's done, while Bitcoin has been flat since about, you know, uh, for the last several, about two months or so, uh, my algorithm has recommended cryptocurrencies that I've invested in that have produced in my portfolio better than a 200% gain since the middle of March. And I say better because it is significantly better, not just 201%. Uh, all right, so 260%. I know, I know. It's huge, absolutely huge. Anyway, can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash the like button. Hey, it really helps us out. So I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. In fact, my background is in computer software and computer programming for the last two decades. And that experience helped me build the algorithm that I'm using for cryptocurrency. Now, cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss. Look, there's been times that my portfolio was down by 70%. That was actually before I had my algorithm to where it worked um, and was actually something I could trade with. And so prior to using my algorithm, I got to where I was down by over 70%. So you need to understand when you're investing in cryptocurrency, you have a risk involved. So read the rest of this disclaimer and, and really do follow it to the best of your ability because it's this disclaimer is here to help protect you. Uh, and help protect your family from financial misfortune. All right, so Grayscale CEO says U.S. regulators can't shut down Bitcoin. Grayscale CEO Barry Silbert believes the United States is past the point where regulators have the support to ban crypto assets like Bitcoin. Now, there's a lot of areas where that's true in. I mean, when you look at what's been happening with cryptocurrency as an industry as a whole, with organizations like the New York Stock Exchange, Microsoft and Starbucks all creating the backed exchange and investing $500 million in building the backed exchange, that makes it difficult for regulators to try and shut down Bitcoin because and cryptocurrency because of, of entities like the New York Stock Exchange being involved, they have a lot of weight to throw around in the regulators space and when it comes to uh, SEC and, and so forth. Now, a lot of people that I know have no clue who Grayscale is or no clue who Barry Silbert is. And so I wanted to give you kind of a heads up. He's the CEO of Grayscale. Grayscale has created a Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency funds that if you have a stock brokerage account, say TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab or TradeStation or E-Trade or one of the other stock brokerage accounts, you can go out there and you can purchase uh, GTBC. GTBC is the ticker symbol for the Grayscale Bitcoin fund. And they also have funds in Ethereum and about seven or eight 
I'm not sure the exact count, but a handful of other cryptocurrencies. Anyway, to give you an idea of this fund, the first thing is, is it has $4 billion, that's with a big B, $4 billion of assets under management. So in other words, the amount of money that they have in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other assets is worth $4 billion. I'm repeating that a couple of times because I want it to impress you. It impresses me. Any organization that's got multiple billions of dollars of assets under management, they come under a great deal of legal and uh, regulatory scrutiny because they have to do a whole lot of things to make sure that the federal government doesn't shut them down. And it's in order to protect the investors who have, they've accumulated a total of $4 billion of assets under management. And so the amount of regulatory scrutiny that the Grayscale company, company comes under is quite significant. And it's because of that scrutiny that it gives uh, Barry Silbert a position where what he's saying about U.S. regulators can't shut down Bitcoin, he has a little bit of information about it. Now, I think there's technical reasons why the U.S. regulators can't shut down Bitcoin because it's decentralized. There's no way for you to for for U.S. regulators or China regulators or European regulators to find all of the Bitcoin miners and all of the Bitcoin nodes and shut them down because they're spread out all over the world. And if you want to shut down Bitcoin, you have to shut down all of them. And so that's literally uh, on the verge of being impossible anymore because there's there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Bitcoin miners out there and Bitcoin nodes out there. And all of that is what keeps the Bitcoin currency alive and functioning and well and working. And so they would literally have to either shut down those miners or find some way to prevent people from connecting to them. And because of the way the internet is built and because of the way uh, all of those nodes and, and, and computers that are being run to maintain it. Uh, it's, it's really, I, 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 I suppose it's possible. I just, from my, from my knowledge, from my perspective, I don't know how they could possibly do it. A couple other things that I wanted to let you know or, or, or you know, give you knowledge about as far as Grayscale goes. Uh, they just completed their quarter two 2020 investment highlights. And so, the second quarter of 2020 was their best quarter in their history, especially when it comes to total investments in Grayscale products. There was $905.8 million in new investments. In other words, this number grew by 25% in the last three months because of this additional investment. And that amount is greater than the money that's been spent um, you know, in terms of miners creating new Bitcoin currencies. And so Grayscale is buying Bitcoin at a rate faster than the miners are actually mining it. And so it's quite significant. I'm going to let you read some of these other numbers. All you need to do is just pause the video and take a look at it if you're interested. Plus, I'm going to give you a link so that you can come to this web page, look it up yourself, and if you want to get into the details of their quarter two investment highlights and their quarter two SEC uh, reporting, I will have the link on the YouTube description. And so all you have to do is drill into the YouTube page for this video and you'll find in the YouTube description a link to this website and you'll be able to download the entire SEC filing from Grayscale Investments if you like. The other thing to keep in mind is out of this 905 million dollars that came into Grayscale in the last three months, 84% uh, of that came from institutions. And so this proves that institutions are still very interested in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin in particular. So dig into this. It's worth understanding and worth having some knowledge about. So let me give you some quotes of what he actually said. In a Grayscale investor call on July 16th, the CEO said he was cautiously optimistic about the chances of regulations in the U.S. improving or at least not getting worse for the cryptocurrency. 
And this is a direct quote. For the first time ever, we are past the banned Bitcoin perceived risk, Silbert said. There's enough support in D.C. from policymakers and regulators that Bitcoin has a right to exist and ultimately you can't shut it down. The CEO said relationships with regulators are much better off due to the effort made by groups including the Blockchain Association, a group speaking out in favor of many blockchain and crypto companies in front of the Securities and Exchange Commission, and Coin Center, a nonprofit crypto advocacy group. As an industry, we're just much better off than we've ever been from a relationship perspective out in DC. These two groups educating policymakers around the benefits of this technology and the asset class. The catastrophic regulatory policy risk that maybe would have existed previously in DC is behind us. And so when it comes to having some authority and being in a position to make a statement like that, in my opinion, and this is not financial advice, this is my opinion, but I consider the CEO of Grayscale a, a really good person to have the uh, uh, experience, the knowledge, and the authority to make a statement like that. So that's my video for you today. How can I be of service to you? Do you have questions, thoughts? Are you interested in our algorithm? Uh, does that interest you? Uh, please post comments in the comment section below. And uh, if you disagree with something that I said, I would love to hear from you. Uh, so include your polite disagreements down below and we, I'd be happy to have a discussion with you or let you share your perspective on it as well. So in the meantime, do me a favor, like, subscribe, and hodl, and I hope that you have a fantastic day.